What's up guys, Dan from Forward Progress Madden back with another video on how to stop streaks, aggressive catches, face catches, lobs, shucks, face throws, whatever you want to call them. Everybody has a name for them. Everybody seems to be having problems with them early in Madden 16. I did a video on day one and I took it down because the feedback was that I didn't know what I was talking about, the face catching is OP, whatever you want to say, I heard it all. But one of the big feedback points was that I was using Green Bay. Now, I wholeheartedly believe that Green Bay is the best aggressive catching team in the game because of the duo of Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb. And I also wholeheartedly believe that size does not matter in this game on the jump balls on the sideline. I prefer to use the Ravens and they have Steve Smith who is fantastic at it. So I really don't think size matters, but you guys want to see big receivers. So we'll go ahead and show you Calvin Johnson and Joseph Fourier. Both are huge, both have both have good catch and traffic. Now, for those of you who are struggling, you're probably using the play ball mechanic. Now, muscle memory in Madden is you use Y to try to go for a pick. That still exists in Madden. By holding Y, you go for a pick, but there's also a play wide receiver mechanic. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the wide receiver to go up and get the ball, and you're gonna play the wide receiver as soon as he gets his hands on it and get a knockout animation. So as you can see here, I'm proving a point. I'm using the Jaguars, a terrible team defensively, and we are just locking down Fourier and Calvin Johnson. And as you see, we're getting interceptions frequently by using the play wide receiver mechanic because it gets these knockout animations where other players get the ball. So using the A button is one way. The other way to do it is simply to use two man under. Use man coverage underneath and use safety help over the top and just put two guys in the area to help break up these passes. You don't have to use either mechanism or mechanic to try to stop the aggressive catching when you're running two man under. Just having guys in the area is going to be enough to stop them. The third thing is using bracket coverage. So go ahead and use the new adjustment system and put guys into man coverage. Typically I take my flat defenders and put them in man coverage on the jump ball players and that's going to simulate bracket coverage like you see in the NFL. See, you've got a guy outside, a guy inside, and you can use whichever me mechanic you want. Again, I prefer to use the play wide receiver to get those tip out animations for easy stops.